How's it going, everybody? Nathaniel from RC Insight here, and today I'm going to be talking about puffed lipos, specifically how to tell if your lipos are puffed and what to do with them. So if you're new to RC, I'm sure you've heard someone mention lipos, puffed lipos before, and you can probably imagine what really puffed lipos look like. I'll put a picture of that up on the screen. But Sometimes they might be a little bit puffed or slightly puffed and you maybe don't know exactly what that means or what to do with it. You've maybe heard of some of the dangers of puffed lipos or whatever and so I'm going to try and clear the air on some of that in this video. So the first thing that's important to know is lipos puff over time. So when you get a new battery, there should not be any puffing. I'll put up an image on the screen of what they should look like because mine do not look perfectly brand new. Uh, if you were to pick one up and squeeze it, there should be almost no give involved. It should be it should be basically flat, uh, sort of like this one. This one's pretty much not puffed. Um, so you shouldn't really feel any give. There should be no rounded ed edges, whatever. Um, but over time, uh, I'm not going to go into a chemistry lesson to explain what happens specifically, but over time, the ions in the battery start to break down and puffing occurs naturally. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. Again, if your lipos are really puffed, like you're seeing on your screen, uh, then obviously get rid of them immediately. I'm gonna make a separate video on how to properly dispose of puffed lipos because that's another topic. Uh, but there is a gray area in between the brand new ones and the very clearly puffed, you must get rid of it lipos. And I'm kind of sitting in that area. So you'll see, you'll take a look at mine here. You'll notice how my lipos uh, are not exactly flat. You'll notice how there's some rounding and some puffing here. They're not perfectly flat, uh, but they're not too bad. You can see this one has more puffing. The one on the right here has more puffing than the one on the left. The one on the left is pretty good. And then same thing goes for my other two as well. Uh, you'll notice these ones less noticeably so actually. Uh, neither of them have that much noticeable puffing. This one on the left here, almost good as new. The one on the right has some slight give when I uh, push on it. So some slight puffing on this one. So if you're in my case, that's kind of an idea of what slightly puffed lipos look like. Yours could be uh, a touch more or a touch less puffed. But in that case, what do you do with them? So you have a few courses of action. The first thing is if you see any puffing, uh, any puffing at all, even like the minimal puffing that I have here, you say, okay, that's it. I'm going to order some new lipos. And that is always a safe thing to do. There's nothing wrong with that. But lipos are expensive and your lifetime here is not necessarily done. So like I said, puffing occurs naturally over time and is not something that you necessarily have to worry about uh, if it's minimal. So if you have relatively new batteries and you've been running them frequently and you notice some puffing, uh, keep an eye on them, supervise them while charging, but naturally the puffing should subside after a charge if, if there was some puffing after you just ran the battery. Just give it a chance to cool down, charge it up, and that's fine. And so long as it's holding a charge fine and you're not seeing uh, you know, some exponential growth in your LiPo, then you shouldn't have an issue. The other issue that you could have is similar to mine. These lipos are not very used, but I haven't used them in several years. So they're pretty new. They haven't been used a lot, but they also haven't been used in several years. And so that's when that breakdown really starts to occur over time. And if you're in that boat, you need to be a little more careful about what you're doing. So the first thing, as I said, always make sure you're supervising your batteries as you charge them. But in particular, if you think you have some slightly puffed batteries, charge them if they're not terribly puffed if they're just minorly puffed like mine are. Uh, so if you're looking at it and you're saying, oh, it's got a little puffing like this, uh, start by charging it at a very slow rate. Uh, 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 very slow, do a full charge at a very slow rate under supervision to make sure that everything's okay. If, if it seems like something is going wrong while charging, then obviously stop and throw the batteries out, dispose of them properly. I'm also going to do a video on how to safely charge your LiPo batteries, so that'll be coming as well. Both the video on disposal and charging will be linked in the description when they're done. After you've charged your battery, I recommend running it in your car. So don't be too intensive with it. You want to be kind to these batteries. You're, you're trying to gauge if they're okay. Uh, but the main thing that you want to see 
is what type of battery life you're getting. So if you're seeming to have no issue charging at a slow rate and you can get a full charge, how long does your full charge last? And that will tell you whether there's still value in your lipos or not, because if they're puffed and bad and not really working anymore, then you're not gonna get really any life out of them anyway, in which case you're obviously gonna wanna get some new ones. So I would rinse and repeat that a couple of times if you're seeming to have no issues with the charging end of things and there's just minor puffing, uh, charge at a slow rate and try several times to see what type of battery life you're going, run them till dead. Normally you don't want to run your battery all the way down, but in this case, you're really trying to gauge just how much life you're getting out of these. And so I recommend basically running it all the way out and saying, okay, how long was that? How much should I get out of this? And if you're getting five to 10 minutes, then obviously you're worth, it's worth getting new lipos. However, if you're getting 20, 25, maybe even 30 minutes, then you're looking at saying, my lipos are probably okay. And be careful, continue to keep an eye on them. But in that case, you can probably still continue to use them. So that is my video guys on how to identify puffed lipos and what to do, particularly if you're in that gray zone where it's slightly puffed. I hope that you found this useful. I hope that I was pretty clear and concise. Do a few charges at a low rate. See how long the charges hold. If you're having no issues with anything in that process, then you can keep going. Obviously, if there's some hiccups, then just pull the plug, get some new lipos. But just because there's some puffing doesn't mean you can't run them. Obviously, always err on the side of safety. And so if you really have a concern, get new lipos. That's always the number one thing at the end of the day. Um, there are also ways to make sure that you can safely charge your lipos if you're really concerned beyond just constantly supervising them. For example, I have a metal tin that I charge mine in. So that's always something that can help you as well. There's ways to make sure that you're being as safe as possible. But if you're at all concerned, go out and buy new lipos. But if you do have slightly puffed lipos and you think you can still get them to work, uh, the methods that I mentioned are a great starting point for you. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Uh, click the like button down below if you did to uh, show your support. That's always appreciated. Subscribe for more RC content. I have a bunch of videos on my lipo batteries coming soon, as I've already mentioned. And also I will obviously have uh, other tutorials as well as videos of bashing, jumping videos, all that sort of stuff coming soon on top of all the other content that I deliver. So if you're interested in any of that, subscribe so that you can see those videos as soon as they come out. And with that said, thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.